At this lab in the Netherlands, they want to revolutionize what we eat. Their raw materials are just a few chunks of muscle and fat from cows. With that, they can grow meat that's never been near any animal. This is the burger? Yes, this is the burger. Small, but this is the cultured burger from stem cells from a cow. These scientists say that lab-grown meat is more environmentally friendly than the real thing and has no animal welfare issues. After years of testing and refinement, they're ready to take their technology out of the lab. We now have an investor lined up from the meat industry, a meat processor. Uh, we envision that it takes about three years to get the first hamburgers on the market and that will be still rather expensive and small production. So for specialty um, restaurants um, at a price of, let's say, 10, 11 pounds for a hamburger. Um, in the years after that, price will inevitably come down because it's more resource efficient um, and will hit the supermarkets. My guess is about seven years from now. They'll first need to automate the growth process and there's still work to do on the flavor of the meat. This hamburger is tiny, but it costs around £10,000 to make and contains around half a billion muscle cells. The next step for these scientists in Maastricht is to make fat cells which they can mix into this burger to make it taste more like a conventional product. After that, they can scale up so that you and I can buy them in supermarkets. Lab-grown meat could be crucial in serving the needs of a growing planet. As more people around the world want meat, traditional methods may not be able to keep up. But if they're worried about their livelihoods, farmers aren't showing it. 16.75 is your total there, thank you. Don't think you're ever going to be able to reproduce something as complex as the meat we've got here. I think they st might stand a chance at producing um, a manufacturing product which could be turned perhaps into an artificial burger or an artificial sausage but I think people are very very skeptical and nervous about manufactured products as it is. Back in the lab Mark Post knows that public acceptance will be key to his technology's success. I want you to imagine uh, let's say 30 years from now you go to the supermarket and you have um, two identical products one is made in a cow uh, with um, greenhouse gas emission, with uh, animal welfare issue, it has to be slaughtered. One is exactly the same, same price or even lower. Um, no greenhouse gas emission, no animal slaughtered. You know, what are you going to choose? I, I cannot really imagine a future, admittedly far from now, uh, far away, where those two can coexist. It won't happen straight away, but lab-grown meat is on its way to our plates. Alok Jha, ITV News.